provided for. Yes. Yes. See, God will provide for those that love him. Yes. He said, seek me when? Day and night. He said, diligently seek after me. Yes. He said, study what? A workman need not to be ashamed, but you got to study and know what God is saying to you and how God will provide for you. Yeah. In the midst of a storm, guess what? God is right there just waiting on you. Yeah. Yeah. Now, let me let, you, let me remind you of a story about Peter and the disciples. Mm -hmm. Jesus said, y'all go ahead and go over to the other side, didn't they? Now, he didn't tell them that everything's going to be hunky-dory. He didn't say that the wind wasn't going to be boisterous. He didn't say that you weren't going to have no problem. That's right. But all he said is just go over to the other side. And they was headed that way. But, Brother McCoy, mm -hmm. you trying to get to heaven, right? Yeah. But that's going to be something in your way. Right. That's going to be some trials in your way. Right. That's going to be some trouble in your way. God said that we can make it to heaven, but he never said it's going to be an easy way to go. He said, I'm going to be with you in the midst of trouble. He said, when you've done all the stands, don't give up. Don't pass out. Don't give up. Throw up both hands and say, I quit. Come on and shout amen. We are not quitter. Paul said, I press. What was he saying? He said, even though I got trouble and everything is going against me, I'm still going. The Bible says we are not those that what draw back. Right, See, you can't have that drawback spirit. When when something go wrong, you start drawing back. Say, I don't know about I, I I heard God right enough. But you if you you heard him the first time, he still the, he still meant what he said. Right, Come on and shout, Amen. amen. But the disciples was going to the other side. This particular, well, this particular time, Jesus was in the in the heart of the ship. This particular time, sleep. So made him a pillow, and he, he just said, "Go to the other side." See, and and things begin to happen as they progress to the other side. And the storm, the wind began to be boisterous, and guess what they done? They went down there and disturbed Jesus in his sleep. Hey, Jesus, get up, get up. Cares not that we perish? What Jesus done said, oh, no, little faith. That's what he said, didn't he? He said, oh, thou. He had already gave him the word, said, go on over to the other side. And, and, and when things don't go our way, huh? come on, it's how they, man. That's the same way we do. Oh, oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. But keep on selling the way that you sell it. Because God is with you everywhere you go. Yeah. It might get rough. You might you might be at your last. You might be scraping the meal barrel. But know this one thing. That was a woman in the Bible was scraping the meal barrel too. And guess what? God sent somebody right by. Yeah. And then she had so then she was blessed so abundantly that, that she lived off the rest of her time. Told her, told her, go in the house, shut it up. She went and bought some, some vessels and, and filled the, the vessels up with oil, huh? And God would give you, you might got something <laughs> at your house right now that, that God is going to bless you out of. Come on and shout, amen. What you got already could be your blessing that God is going to bless you with. We don't know, but when God put his hands on something, I don't care. It might not, it might be a, might be an old, old something that you inherit from some of your parents. And God might touch somebody's heart and say, do you got something so and so? I'm going to come out there and look at it. You might say, oh, that's right here's what I've been looking for. How much you want to sell it for? Two million? That ain't enough. That ain't enough. Three million? No, no, no. That ain't enough either. I give you five million dollars just for this old thing you got. Come on and shout amen. See, God can do that. Yeah. Y'all haven't heard these stories? All over the world, the people got junk that, that they think. Yeah. But somebody else come on out and say, well, I want that. I want that. And they got plenty of money. 
and give you a big chunk and you, you won't know what to do with it. I don't know if this check real or not. Well, I'll tell you what. <laughs> And I did my hands. We're going to find out if it's real. But that's what I'm saying. But God can do this kind of thing if we walk in the freedom that God has given us. We got the freedom to call what? Those things would be not as though they were. Yeah. 